हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर न्यू एकेडमिक सेशन 2020-21 दिस इज योर फर्स्ट डे सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद अ ब्यूटीफुल कोट वर्क हार्ड ड्रीम बिग नेवर गिव अप सो आर यू रेडी टू वर्क हार्ड थ्रू आउट द ईयर सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विथ वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न दिस ईयर फ्रॉम योर हिस्ट्री बुक लास्ट ईयर यू हैव लर्न द स्टोरी ऑफ अर्ली मैन डू यू रिमेंबर this year you have the history of ancient india ancient means what children very old we cannot write history alone sitting in the corner isn't it last year i taught you archaeologists they go to excavation sites and find out many proofs written sources oral sources do you remember all these things so history cannot be written alone we need help of so many people isn't it so this year the four pillars you are going to study and those are time place society and individuals these are the four major pillars of history and you have to remember this throughout the year and the very simple technique of learning these four pillars are time place society individual a short form for this four words are ispt so you are going to remember the four major pillars are ispt i individual as society p place and t time here place is related to geography and therefore we can say that history and geography both are related because history is influenced by geographical conditions now what is this geographical conditions means in india the land forms are not same everywhere there are hills himalayas deserts plains rivers seas and islands many things are there therefore we have different regions and in different regions there are different geographical conditions the diet clothing occupation and the entire human life depends upon the geographical condition of that particular region region means what region means that particular area we all live on plains we don't live on hills remember we live on plains so these are the different land forms now let us start our first lesson the subcontinents of india children are you ready with your books take out the first page of your book see the indian subcontinent and history isn't it can you see the types of houses are given here why there are different houses because they live in different regions so when people live in different regions their diet clothing occupation everything change understood the climate rainfall agricultural produce flora and fauna everything changes understood now what is this flora and fauna means do you know flora means plant life and fauna means animal life understood very well so children if we compare the two different regions hills and plains the life style is totally different life of the people living in the hilly regions is more strenuous what do you mean by strenuous difficult hard compared to the people living on lanes now let us see the first page and keep your pencil ready here children you have to mark the definition of history first history is a coherent account of the significant past events 
in the progress of human culture this is the definition of history so please with your pencil mark this sentence done children then immediate after that we have time place society and individuals are the four major pillars of the history you have to mark that also done children okay so we will see the different geographical condition in different regions see our diet clothing housing occupation in fact all human life in any region depends to a large extent on its geographical characteristics can you see this here you will write the meaning of scars can you see this word scars scars means shortage write down scars shortage or insufficient s u w f i c i e n t insufficient or shortage and one more word i have taught you just now strenuous that is tough or difficult can you see that word strenuous here is the word strenuous means tough or difficult so have you understood that the different regions are there in india and their lifestyle clothing occupation is entirely different now let's move on to the next page are you ready with the next page here the word flora and fauna is given write down there flora means plant life and fauna means animal life done now we will see in the first paragraph that due to the degradation of the environment drought invasions etc led to the scarcity of those means means what the means we are getting like food clothing occupation agricultural produce everything get degraded degraded due to the environment and suddenly people have to change from one place to the another here word settlements is there can you see settlement settlements means where we live villages towns become deserted deserted means isolated we see many such instances in history so when we learn history we also see that many villages and towns are deserted due to the degradation of environment and suddenly they have to settle down in some other places and thus we see that there is a very close relation between history and geography we'll see the geographical features of india in our next video thank you children